fuck it. I'm about to be on. Been on this mission since I first left home. Back up my bags like nigga, I'm grown. Told myself to show myself to do no wrong. Hey everybody, my name is Galen and this is Galen's Gadgets. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download third party applications onto your Chromebook. So this is very useful for just some of those apps that do not appear on the Chromebook app stores, but does show on the Android app store. This usually happens because Android developers usually develop apps just for Android. They have to do go through some tweaks to make sure that's compatible with Chromebook. And a lot of developers do not do that now. So there are just a ton of apps that you can get on the Android Play Store, but not the Chromebook Play Store. So I'm going to show you guys how to download APK files from online so that you can download Android apps to your Chromebook that you do not see on the Play Store. I have seen there are multiple ways to do this, but I will be showing you the way to do it through the Linux terminal. So I'm going to show you guys my screen and we're going to get to it now. So the method that I'm going to show you is actually um, some instructions that I found on bbomb.com. Someone on Reddit actually suggested this to me because I could not, for the life of me, get these third-party applications downloaded onto my Chromebook. So it actually takes about seven steps. Um, the last two steps, um, those are the only ones that you'll have to do every time after the first time. So the first time, you just have to enable all of these settings and uh, put all of this code into Linux. But from then on, it's only two steps. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your settings. And on the left side, you want to go down to the section that says Linux. And usually on your first time, it's going to ask you if you want to enable Linux. You're just going to click yes. And then from there, you will get this Linux menu. And in order to download um, APKs, you will have to enable USB debugging. So you would click on the Linux button and then you would go down to develop Android apps. And then you wanna enable ADB debugging. And then I believe it's gonna tell you to restart your computer. And once you restart, it's just gonna ask you if you wanna make sure you wanna enable that and you just click yes, of course. So once you enable Linux, you wanna come back to the BBOM website so you can find all of these commands that you will need to post. This first command is what's going to enable ADB, which is like the part that is going to connect Android to Linux so that it can run on your Chromebook. So you want to copy and paste these commands into the Linux terminal. So when you go to your shelf, and then you there should be an icon right here that says Linux apps. You're going to click on that. Then you're going to open up the ter terminal. That's where you're going to put all of your commands. I'm not going to post all of the commands in this tutorial just because I don't want to break anything that I already have done. So yeah, you want to just go in order. You're going to post all of these commands connecting these IP addresses. You're going to start the server. And then you're going to stop here. So once you run all of your commands in Linux, you'll be able to install the APK directly with a Linux command. You will not have to do all of the steps before this again. You'll just have to download your APK from online, and then you're going to move it to your Linux folder. And then you can just insert that command, and it will install into your computer. So I'm going to show you how to download. So right now, this is actually my new favorite video editor. I just found this last night and I wanted to see if it was compatible with Chromebook because not every APK is able to be opened on Chromebook. A lot of different APKs, once you open it, it just like automatically crashes. So this one actually worked for me and I'm really grateful for that because I was getting tired of how buggy PowerDirector was getting for me on my Chromebook and I'm not a big fan of KindMaster. So I found this app recently and I really enjoy it. So I'm just going to hit download. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my folder. That's not what I want to do. Go to my folder, recent, and then that is the file I just downloaded. I'm going to copy it. I'm 
going to paste it in my Linux folder. You have to make sure you add this file to your Linux folder or it will not work at all. So there it is. That is the file that I just downloaded from online. And I also suggest renaming it, which is what I'm going to do to something easier just so you don't have to type out so much. I'm just going to call it motion in because I have some of the same file because I got this to work before. Motion in. And I'm going to save it. Okay, so this last part is, uh, there are a few options for it. So on this website, it gives you a command. It says just ADB install and then the name of the file. They use Firefox as an example. That did not work for me. So I actually went through the comments and I found another command that actually worked. Let me find it. Okay, this is the command that actually worked. ADB space dash S space emulator dash 5554 dash install and then the name of your file. That actually works for me. So I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So that is the command.apk. Sometimes it takes a second. That not running message does happen a lot, so do not be afraid of that message. It just takes a second and then success. So now I'm gonna scroll up and there it is, Motion Ninja. And I will also be doing a video on this video editor because I believe it is definitely one of the best video editors on Chromebook. Okay. And now I'm just going to go to the Play Store to show you. It's not, you cannot download this app on the Play Store at all. There it is, Motion Ninja. Can't find it at all. If you've made it to this point of the video, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I will be doing more Chromebook tips and tricks videos, as well as I will be doing a full video on the features of this new video editor that I found called Motion Ninja. I'm really liking it. Um, I've had a lot of problems with PowerDirector recently, like force closing my apps and just making my computer shut down when I try to drag something. So yeah, I'm going to be trying this out. If you have any other questions in regards to this video, please feel free to comment and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Yeah. I just want you to be strong. Yeah.